Well, it's one of those bills that I think um, we could have done a better job in explaining the um, proposal itself and the, the reason why one would even consider a public land development corporation, public-private partnership model. I think it starts off with the fact that we have um, hundreds of um, acres of unused, undeveloped uh, state property that if we could find the means either to public funding or private funding to develop them, uh, we could provide the types of services and programs and improvements people want. We could expand our park system, uh, whether in, in the near lands or high lands, like the freshwater park in Waihewa. That's a highland park, picnicking, uh, recreation, boating, maybe even camping. Uh, we're never going to find the monies to do that. That's a highland uh, park. Um, but if we could develop that, maybe with a private organization, like the Boy Scouts of America, uh, I, I can see that working as a public land development corporation type project of a public-private partnership, the state of Hawaii with the Depart Department of Parks and Recreation, with the Boy Scouts of America as a nonprofit coming in to develop a campground uh, for out outdoor use. And that, that was one idea. Other uses are near shoreline areas, uh, let's say, uh, near and abutting uh, Kauai Loa, maybe, where you have uh, some state lands, they're unimproved, unaccessible, uh, or even like Mokalea on the North Shore. Uh, those are state lands, but you're never going to have the money to go out there and install lavatories or shower facilities or water lines or utility facilities for nighttime camping. Until you do that, people cannot really enjoy the beauty of camping out as a family at Mokalea, in a safe environment. Uh, when we were growing up, we would go out there and camp um, by Chichi Bao Mountain and by the Rock Crusher uh, with our kerosene lanterns and our, and our fishing poles and do it quite comfortably. But today, you can't do that. It's not safe. It's not safe. Um, so that was the idea behind it. How can we go and partner with private sector um, interest to develop public lands for public purposes. And I think, to me, um, that's where it failed. Um, it doesn't mean that the wishes of our constituents and the needs of our community goes away. There's still a high demand for a more open space, for recreating, for camping, for fishing, for boating, and that's still there. But I hope that we can come together as a community and find a way of encouraging private uh, not-for-profit ventures to partner with the state of Hawaii and, and the county to develop these projects. Um, if there's a will, there's a way. And I think uh, uh, the demand is there, and the community with goodwill in, in, in mind will be able to move ahead with these types of projects. So I, I'm encouraged by the discussion and the activism. But again, I need to remind everyone, and even my own colleagues at the time, the intention was never to um, uh, override uh, public input and community desires. To the contrary, the, the idea was to express a con community need for these types of um, services or, or enhancements or developments of uh, public lands for the benefit of the community themselves. I come, of, come from Wahewa, and uh, we have a civic center area that for the past 50 years we've been waiting for the state to develop. Um, it's one of those areas that you have nearby a bus terminal. You have on one side a, a not-for-profit not hospital. You have a public library. You have a Department of Education Alternative Learning Center. Um, you have these facilities on site with the Department of Health and Department of Human Services. So it makes sense for those kinds of different entities to come together and try and maybe develop it for the community benefit again. But these are some of the examples that w were never were discussed and that should have been discussed in this uh, public land development corp discussion. So we hope it moves forward you know, in, in some format without that PLDC uh, description. Mm -hmm.